Good evening everyone and welcome back. We are on the medium. I had a bit of an issue this e well, last last evening when I'd normally stream, so I'm doing it early in the morning. Um we are back with Thomas taking on the mental anguish that is Henry trying to find out I was about to say trying to find out what makes him tick, but Henry's got Thomas tied to a chair and Thomas wants to get out because he started a fire at Thomas's house. So there's a few things I want to make clear. I think there was a few of the echoes in the last episode. And in my defense, there's no real way of telling um, who's speaking during the echoes. I suppose I should put the... I wonder if you could put names on the subtitles. Regardless, um, I mixed a few of them up. So it seems that Henry was assigned to Neva Resort to investigate Thomas um, for the socialists. Um, Needless to say, these are, used to be referred to as Nazis. But there, he was investigating, he was being investigated by the socialists. They were apparently all too aware of his talent for messing with people's heads and destroying minds. Um, and so obviously wanted to recruit him. This was back when he, Thomas was about 18. Apparently they tried that, put him in prison. It didn't work out very well for them as Thomas killed them and got out. Henry found him, we can only assume under a new identity, whether he was on the run. Um, Henry found him at the Neva Resort and has checked in, which is why we were hearing a lot of phone calls early on as Marianne, where we were hearing um, someone refer to somebody else as comrade over the phone. That was Henry carrying out his investigation into Thomas. Henry also got to Francis at one point and had a chat with him, but Francis... I don't think would betray Thomas. He always seemed loyal to Thomas in a weird way. Um, yep, yeah, so Henry tied us to a chair. We wouldn't talk. We've taken the torture. He set a fire in Thomas's house and turned him round to look at this house as it burns, saying that your children are still in there. Thomas is very upset. Henry got close enough. And as he did, Thomas made the clairvoyant jump to dive into Henry's head. And that's everything. Quick blurb. The law. Let's go. Yeah, we definitely know there's something evil walking around this place. So I'm going to be aware of that. More evil than Thomas. It's sort of making me think a bit strange as well, because Thomas is the one that's known for jumping in and out of people. And the thing that's chasing us around an awful lot, the more, does keep saying, let me try you on. So, what if... Thomas, I hope I've called it, that'd be interesting. I want a marker, can we put a marker, can I stick a marker in the stream? I can, there we go. Mm, let's have a quick look. So yeah, Jacob uh, made his name with the socialists as a ruthless officer, reporting his own father to the secret police for stealing meat stealing meat from the butchers that his actual father owned. So basically his dad was giving away scraps to people who needed it. And that didn't go down well. I don't know what the punishment is for stealing meat back in uh, war-torn Poland. I can only assume it's going to be heavy. They were struggling. What the hell was that? That was strange. I was going to say, it's about time we heard something. I feel like I've been running forever. Yeah, what if Thomas is the more... It seems like an obvious thing, but Thomas is the one that jumps in and out of people. Good name for my, uh, my band. We're going to go with Spirit Force. That was unnecessarily noisy. My, my question is as well is, why is Thomas in Henry's head? Now, I know why he's here. He knows that time dilates when he jumps into somebody's head, so he's got time to get out of this situation. But is he looking to see what makes Henry tick? Or is he, you know, carefully dissecting this evidence to find out what, makes, what goes on in that brain? Or is he sticking his arm up his neck hole and ripping his brain out through his through his throat. Have you ever heard of Neva? Uh, oh, sorry. 
there's another thing I want to talk about as well. It might be a bit controversial, but we'll get to it after this. Special assignment for Major Henry Vilk. Sorry, it's Vilk. It's uh, un completely unacceptable. Vilk. A person of interest has been found at the Neva Workers Resort near Krakow. Local investigators have reported a strange case involving a painter classified. The person was found alive but in a vegetative state. Fell play was suspected but examination didn't show signs of brain trauma. Possible connection to the Gemini case. Consult the classified file. Keep it clean, keep it quiet. This is what you've been training for. Note. I strongly recommend that you acquaint yourself with Soviet scientists. We are Soviet scientist notes we acquired during in 1950. You have been granted access to archives. Entry 1138 is for your eyes only. Vilk, dig in. Report to your case officer for further briefing. So it seems like Thomas, after he was caught, um, excuse me, I had to crack my jaw. After he was caught in, um, his youth as a medium with some damaging powers. Like, he stayed under the radar. He completely flew under the radar with nothing. What's this? The subject continues to manifest strong supernatural powers. He claims that another is talking to him, showing visions, working theories, suspect connection to possibly established as a result of a near death experience. More tests necessary. To confirm the split theory. Oof. So they were they were getting on to us. But but how? Like there's our hound. Let's put some distance between. Well, actually, I think we're chasing him. Interesting. Shut up, I'm reading. Today's session halted prematurely due to an accident, sorry, an incident in the test chamber. While administering prescribed substances, lead scientist Dr. Classified, nice name, came into skin to skin contact with the subject, was promptly hospitalized despite showing no signs of physical trauma. He fell into a vegetative state from which he is yet to recover. Further sessions have been halted definitely. Okay, so the danger of what the mediums can do, especially what Thomas can do. Marianne hasn't shown any signs of it, but what Thomas can do is, it seems to be known. Maybe it is skin to skin contact. Maybe it's not proximity. Ow, you asshole, what are you doing? That's the first time I've ever actually known the dog be after me, after me. Got it. Reminder for today's rescheduled session. Despite increased dosage, the subject remains extremely dangerous and needs to be restrained both physically and mentally for the duration of the test. Heightened security measures apply. You got it. Yeah, so they were all too aware how dangerous these people were. Weird. I think something's going to happen, so I can't... I'm not going to talk about what I was thinking about. I mean, it was just up here. Can you not jump? Does that not worry you at all? <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I don't know. I don't. I, uh, <laughs> incoherent. Nervous nonsense. Oh, great. Look at the size of this. This is 100% going to draw his attention. Are we timing this? Are we timing this school, not good. baby? Not good. Hope it fucking hurt. I think I timed that really well, considering I didn't know how long that was going to take. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, one second. Mic check. There we go. Um. Wait. Did I just do a mic check and didn't actually read the mic? No, it's fine. Um, yeah, I didn't know how long it was going to be before I could pull it down, so I just yanked on it a little bit late. 
be kind of cool if I just put it down and he just, just like two stepped one two then jumped into the air and grabbed me okay easy easy whoa, whoa, whoa. I do I think I do have some control over this because I'm making him wiggle just a little bit Jesus Christ what the hell Ooh, another noisy one. Should keep putting some distance before the game can realise what we're doing. That's my plan. So episode one of the stream uh, came out on YouTube, and I think the other one is due out tomorrow. Why are you baiting him? Like, why are you baiting him? There's no, there's nothing to gain from baiting him. Can't get me up here, can you? There. Got you right where I wanted. Time to put you out of your misery. And stay the fuck down. Nice. Lots of, lots of, um, what's it called? You know, what was it, attempting to be badass dialogue, but really I haven't had much to do with this dog. I've, uh, that's the first time I've seen it, like, straight on. I'm kind of wishing, wishing that I saw more of the paperwork and the files, but the dog I haven't really had too much, you know, issue with. He's been nice, he's been fine, he's been very welcoming. Mum? Daddy, me. Family pick. Mom looks a little bit set back, and Dad looks like he's got red wings. Other than that, it's fine. Nice pick. 10 out of 10 would commission for family portrait. Oh, here we go. I'm going away tonight. Um. Business trip, short notice. Couldn't be helped. Why don't you say goodbye to him? I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I work on my mind. I have work on my mind. I shouldn't talk to my son. I might accidentally interrogate him. Start pulling teeth and slapping him in the face, shining the light in his eyes. Why do you care, Thomas? You know what he is. Why are we deep? Why are we, we, we like deepening in his head? Pause. Simon, where are you, boy? I made you a wooden scimitar. Every child should have his first badass curved weapon. Dad? Dad? Neither, yeah, champ. Are you going away again? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, I can go fishing. Now, you'd like that, wouldn't you? No, Thomas, you know he's not getting back. I know. But sometimes Daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand, don't you? That would probably be the most effective thing for me if I was trying to, like, judge, jury, and execution of this, this socialist. He's telling his son, hey, I'm just going to work. We'll go fishing when I come back. That'd be nice. And it's like, uh, uh, kind of. I don't really want to. I don't. Uh, no. Hey, Red Door. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, what? Kid, this will all be over soon. I mean, surely there's ways that you can like. Can we not personify this? Can we not just sort of like change his heart? Do we really have to shred it? I mean, yeah, I know, your kids are there, your kids are in the house, and so actually saying that I probably would consider sh shredding his entire soul to get him out. This does not look like she's going to let me in. This is it. You made it. You're 
just in time. That's right, kid. Just come to me. I'll put an end to it. I'll set you free. No, it won't let us leave. The monster, it's... Don't worry about the monster, kid. I'll deal with it. I'll put it down for good. Not if it puts you down first. What did you say? Oh, it was a trap. You got played, Thomas. There is no child. There is only me. He's mentally prepared for Thomas. Your tricks won't work on me, old man. Oh shit, he was ready for Thomas. Time to see where there is a Oh shit! Oh my god. He was mentally built to withstand that type of mental penetration. I'm never doing that again. Don't ask. And that's the house fire that took Lily. Marianne. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew that when he, when he emphasised children, I know it was probably obvious, when he emphasised children, when he was talking to him, that Marianne was his daughter. Thomas is your biological father. And we're walking in his footsteps. But why would he call us here if he is the more? Why would he do that? Why would he put his daughter in danger? I remember. It's him. It was always him. Oh shit, it's here. Tried to kill us. What did you do to her? What did you do to Lillian? Me. I was already dead. Your father made sure of that. to save us to save her maybe in a way that's exactly what he did uh, this is fucking madness this place it reeks of it madness grief
That didn't sound like laughing to me. It's about time to clean it up. Once and for all. We don't have to deal with Skulldog. Thomas Rekovich. My father. Was he the man on the pier? The man with the gun? The murderer from my dream? How could he? Why? I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them. To me. So maybe Thomas like rampaged through this place in a way. Take, he, he took down Richard, he took down Henry, but he didn't kill them. He like killed their physical body, their spirit, and left their monster, their inner demon here. And now we've got this, um, we've got this uh, like graveyard of, of evil spirits that he's left in his wake and now Marianne is cleaning it up one by one okay Marianne focus this was your home once there's got to be something here so we've got a bit of investigating to do here what we got my photo it's sad to see it like this left behind forgotten survived the fire though so that's something what's this mm. Burnt up, but I can still make out some of it. Okay, so that's where her butterflies thing came from. Because Sadness has a butterfly too. She has it on her dress. Or oh, we can return a family photo? We can. Another photo. Somehow it feels wrong to just leave them lying around. Are we meant to be collecting them or putting them here? Because I've picked that one up now. Okay, so I can pick them up at will. I'm going to go with left to right date order. I think that's the last photo of the kids. And I think that's when Thomas met his wife. Before they had kids. So that's the reason there's another photo somewhere. He wants me to look at the dollhouse. Dollhouse? How the hell did it survive the fire? Locked. Maybe there's a way to open it. Maybe returning the photos to the mantelpiece will get us. Or do we have to cross over? Or we have to do a bit of a dive into a mirror. Let's just check this first. Okay, oh, there we, we go. Find somewhere to put it. There we go. I'd say in the middle. They're pregnant with their second child. I'd say right there. Okay, that's it. The Rekovich family history. Family, did I just smash that puzzle to absolute pieces? Did it open? Nope. Okay, so let's let's do what we hate the most. All right. Let's see what's on the flip side of this place. Okay. Oh, here we go. Does this represent the dollhouse in this world? 
Oh, the blade. We get to use that again. Oh, it's kind of sticking in the middle. Whoosh. An ornate butterfly. Why do I feel that? That's not all you are. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip. All right, let's look at the wind. The wind. The, the mantelpiece, rather. Feelings etched into the wall. And a face. This looks eerily familiar. Weird. The connection, the wedding rings, holding their firstborn. I don't know what that would represent, but it, that's where I'll put the family. I think I got that puzzle right in putting them in the right order. I don't know what made me do that. I just thought that's what I'd do if I was making a puzzle game. I wouldn't just have a collection of photos on the mantle. I'd want the whole thing in order. Can I take the butterfly back through? Does anything survive when I go through? Oh, it opened. Oh, of course, I cut it open. I never thought. Looks like a replica of the actual house. Oh, nice. A tiny mirror. I can see where this is going. I wonder. So do I. So if I... Looks like I could put something here. So if I put the mirror here, into the bedroom, does like this mirror should. now take me to the bedroom? Uh, it, it does. The dollhouse, the mirrors, it's all connected. That it is. This room feels very familiar. Okay, okay. We are slicing and dicing. This is not for the butterfly. So something else goes there. Four slots. Oof. What does that mean? Four butterflies. Got it. We'll pop this one on. What's this? Oh, we couldn't open it. Is it another dollhouse? IRL. Zip. She just said, hey, another one of those butterflies. We'll stick that in slot two. Whether these go in order, I don't know, but that's two of them. We need something for that mobile. So we're going to go back in here. We're going to move the mirror to the... To the bolt cutters. Let's have a look what's in the other bedroom. Oh, there we go. If I can navigate the environment. This room feels like it's pushing me out. Like it doesn't want me here. Ah, there we go. I don't think this belongs here. No, this this one do that belongs on the mobile. Let's get one more butterfly. Come on, come on, just wiggle it, wiggle it through. Oof. That's more satisfying than the doors. Now, Marianne like butterflies, so whose room is this? I, I hate you. All of you. None of you know. None of you understand. I do. Are those the friends Satnes talked about? Hmm. Strange that we're finding masks here. I'm having trouble getting my head around that. Can we, uh... Something underneath. Uh. Can I, like, peek? Can I peek? Can we just half... Can we just get a flap of it and just have a bit of a look? Nailed it. What's this? What is this? Oh. A tea party with the devil? I know. 
I understand. I can feel your pain. What the uh, hell? Well, that's the more talking. No. No, not that one. We can show them. We can make them understand. What the make hell? Them feel what it's like. Oh no, this is getting really dark. Really, really dark. Let's go back to the other room and, and get that sorted. Because we need to put the fish on the mobile and get the last butterfly. Okay, back there. That there, we're good. Moving on. She keeps looking at that case and it's making me think, oh, there's something there, but I think I've got it. She's just looking at the... The butterflies, which I think are telling me the order. It starts with the red one. I don't know if it actually has the other half of the order. Might be worth looking actually. To pop this I on. don't need her. <clears throat> she took my mom away from me. I hate her. I wish she was dead. Lily, I No, it was not my fault. Hmm. What the hell's happening to me? Hope that's the last one. It most definitely is. We just need to make sure we got the order correct. So if this doesn't happen, if this doesn't pop by like coincidence, then we'll go back and take a look. I must have messed it up. I believe you did. But let's go and look at the order, at least the first half of it, and we can figure out the rest. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, so it's black, and then it's, what's that, like almost flesh colored with red tips, and then we'll guess the last two. We'll take a 50-50 on it. Alright, let's take... Well, that kind of looks like... That kind of looked like the right one, if not a little bit more disheveled. But we're in a mirror, should it not go? Unless I did get it right at the beginning and I just need to get the last two the other way around. Save yourself. Let me help you. What about her? Leave her. Let her burn. Harsh. This place is... Oh, place is like a graveyard, sorry. Okay. And then we can do the switch back to the other bedroom and complete the tea party from hell. So it looks like the the demon that was the moor, or that we know as the moor, or at the very least the same voice actor, kind of goaded Lily and sort of nurtured her hatred of Marianne, because Marianne, um, I'm taking it her mom had complications during the birth, and that's why she said she took her mom away. But, but I can't leave her here. She'll die. God. Remember mommy? It's all. No, 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 she's my sister. Good girl. Then set me free. And I will save you both. Ah, shit. Oh, God. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, I'm in the light. I'm in the light. No fairsies. No fair. You can't do this. Let's get my ass eaten by moths. Oh my god, I had to book it to the mirror. That's shit. What a shit... sort of prompt. <laughs> I got ate by moths, I'm gonna have me a drink. Is it gonna spawn me with the moths? Flying up my ass. Oh man, did it spawn me just picking up the mask? I have to go back and do this. 
rude. Fine, I'll try again. Oh, textures, textures please, textures whenever you're ready. I rushed through that for you then, medium. I didn't want people to see you like that. Thank you. Over here. Are we booking it for the mirror then? That's the plan. Forgive me, but I'm going to skip the dialogue. I am... Oh my, no. Absolutely nailed it. It came from her. Bought its way out with our lives. Lily. She... I need to find her. But like Henry set the fire. Right? Henry set the fire in the interrogation to Thomas. Why would, what's the demon done? The basement looks almost intact. Maybe I'll find some clues down here. Maybe you should look around some more. Barely legible. But I can still make out some of it. Matter of time, watch shop, Krakow, Grodzka Street, order number 342, charge 600 ZL. You'll have to forgive me, I'm ignorant of what the currency is. Um, 14476, so our watch was being worked on. Use the bolt cutters. There we go. A lot and of there. love was put into this. But there's sadness too. Happy anniversary. Ten years. Time flies. Huh? There's a little something to help you keep track of you. Uh, keep track. I love you. You big dummy. Okay, I just lost audio altogether. Hopefully I've fixed it now. Sorry about that. What did I do to deserve these issues? I'm going to double check it one more time now. I'm paranoid. That's fine. Okay, so um, I'll relook at this just in case we missed it. It was happy anniversary. Ten years. Time flies, huh? Here's a little something to help you keep track. I love you, you big dummy. Cute. <laughs> Very cute. Um... If we find something with a substantial reading, I did want to bring up a point that annoys me. I'm just looking out for you. Oh, how about that? So, lately I've been watching a few people, a few YouTubers. That, um, and the reason why I actually do what I do a little bit is because I've noticed that, A, they don't really get that invested in the story or try to dig into the actual story. They just seem to be booking it for the end. And yeah, they might do some side quests. I think... My favourite one, really, he, my favourite YouTuber is obviously not relevant. He's a certain um, Puerto Rican lovely man. Possibly I'll share the name one day, but he's amazing. But a lot of them, a lot of YouTubers and a lot of Twitch streamers, you watch them play a game. For example, the medium. Just take the medium because it's right in front of us. Take the medium and it's like they will pick up a letter like this and they'll read like this. So bear with me. <clears throat> He's out there somewhere. That much I know. I see. If I see I'm starting to think. So, either way, to save her. Okay, and then they put the letter down. Well, they'll put the letter down. What that means is not that they speed read it in their head. And if they say they are, they're bullshitting. That's just utter fucking bullshit. What they're doing is covering up the fact that they can't read very well that's what it is i'm sorry I, I know that seems controversial or that might seem a little bit uncaring because they may have difficulty reading and that's fine there's no reason to not enjoy video games because you can't read very well but you, like the audience like i don't read everything that's really long but an audience does deserve for you to at least understand the storyline i think i learned that and proved that during outer worlds you know what I mean? I sat and I read through everything with everyone. Um, and it's just starting to annoy me now. It really is. If you can't read very good, just take your time. 
take your time. Stop trying to churn a, vid- churn a, f- a fucking video out so fast that you can't even afford to read a paragraph. Read it. Listen, he's out there somewhere. That much I know. Hell, the fact I'm sitting here writing this and not drooling in the corner is proof enough. Just gotta find him. Funny, I always wanted to be crossed out. Alone. The only one. Now I'm starting to think that there were never really two of us. Maybe there were always just two sides of the same coin. Either way, I need him. I need myself to save her. Okay. So yeah, that's that was me having a little soapbox moment. Like... If you can't read, that's not a bad thing. We're here to help. right? Everybody's here to help. And if you want to enjoy video games and you have trouble taking in all the information and you do like someone breaking down a storyline to its component parts and, and giving you their opinion and maybe making it a little bit more digestible. There's nothing wrong with having a bite-sized video game. That's fine. But do your audience a favour. If you're going to read things that have got a story-heavy... Uh, sorry, a... a are you going to put it a law heavy or a literature heavy plot? Just put the effort in. Read it. It's not hard. Today's her birthday. 27th of the 2nd. Interesting. I know somebody with a birthday on there. Yeah, it always brings me back to that moment. First time I saw her. That wonderful tiny creature. All the time I'll do anything just to be her dad. To silence that other part of me. And now I'm desperately trying to bring it back. To help her. To save her. I think I finally figured out a way. It's risky, but our only chance. But it's our only chance if it fails. No, it will work. It has to work. See, not hard. What did that take? 30 seconds? And now people can see a little bit more about the story. So that's Thomas. Thomas believes that he needs to get some sort of psychic... I think that's Thomas. That he's shunned his psychic... There's some whispering going on. I'm hating it. He shouldn't his psychic side, or lost it in the fray. Daddy? Where is Marianne? She needs to stay at the hospital a while longer. Will she be alright? I want to see her. She's asleep, honey. The doctors aren't sure when she's going to wake up. I was in a coma. That's why I couldn't remember anything. Okay, but what were you, what, audio check, by the way, sorry, bear with me. So was Marianne in a coma after the fire? So Marianne was in a coma at the fire, that means Lily wasn't in the fire? Hello, there we go. I'm looking at it. There we go. Tell me about the fire, Lily. You were locked in, alone. No. We were not alone. No? Who else was there? The voice. Um, I, I didn't invite it, but it came anyway. Oh, Lily. Not true. I think she actually played more of a part in the voice coming. So the girls are trapped in a fire, and in that panic, Lily bargained with the devil, essentially, to try and get... I'm not going to go in there just yet. I'm just going to have a quick look around this corner. Lily bargained with the demon to get us out. Lily, listen. You have to come with me now. Daddy? Where, Where are you taking me? I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? What the hell did you do to her? Tell me now. So, Marianne. Oh no. Marianne was in a coma. That means that Thomas and Lily, who survived, Thomas questioned Lily as to why they survived such a horrendous fire. She says the voice came. That's that's the Moor's voice, the demon. Came, secured safety for Lily and for Marianne. But Marianne took the brunt of it and ended up in a coma. Marianne would have come home after a coma. She, coma. she wouldn't have been adopted. So that means there was no home for her to come back to. So what did Thomas do? 
Thomas took something away. She's sick, but it's not physical. He was right that terrible night. Something has awakened. Something was born inside her. He was eating her from the inside, preying on her strength, her little body with us. I have to do something. We have to do something. Okay. So she was the... F have I looked at this? I have. So she started to wilt away. She sort of accepted the demon in and he wore a lily first. What did Thomas do? Jesus, this thing is serious. Is it still working? Looks like it's military. Solid steel. Combination lock. Bulk cutters don't fail me now. Okay, we actually do need a four digit code, so I'm thinking the watch receipt had a No. It had 2702. The watch receipt had an order number. I'm going to go back to the watch receipt. That's been the only tangible thing that has. And did I bring it with me? Uh, Troubled man notes. No. Let's go. Let's go check this. I should have remembered. Sorry about this. There was an order number and maybe an engraving on the watch case, so we'll just take a look. There we go. Happy anniversary, 10 years. Time flies, huh? Here's a little something to help you keep track. I love you, you big dummy. So this is the receipt for the purchasing of the watch. <clears throat> receipt, matter of time, watch shop, 10 years. So, what we're going to say, if it was 10 years, we need a four-digit code. It could be 1404, so 1404, or it could be 1966, if this watch was bought for a 10-year anniversary. Right? That makes sense, everyone? We'll try 1404 and 1966. Let's try that. But yeah, that, that's, that's my soapbox moment about... Far be it from me to critique other YouTubers, be them more successful or less than me. But that's what I don't like. Uh, we're going to try 1404. That's not 1404. I know. No, no, no. Thank you. No, so we're going to try 1966. There we go. So we were right. I did not tell her to walk that way at all. Fixed cameras come to bite me in the ass again. Um, I just noticed it when I was watching some, some YouTubers that were attempting story. Oh, you've got to be fucking with me. I've turned the wrong way. I hate myself. I hate myself. Ugh, I knew he'd be here. I'm, I'm reluctant to keep thinking about East Thomas the more connection. I don't want to think like that because that would mean the more had to like, what, find an assemblance of normalcy and give me a call. Marianne. Do, 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 do. I ran into every light bulb. I popped half those bulbs with my head. Cornering. Not you. Turn the handle. Turn the handle. Turn the handle. Turn the handle. Thing. Not electricity, we know that now. Reading. Separation. It's done. They'll never know. They can never know. 
They wouldn't understand. They would never forgive me. But they are safe. That's what matters. Separation. It's the only way. Okay, another power junction, so we need a a supercharge. What is this place? Some sort of a fallout shelter? You had this right under your house. Oh good. Let's cut some more skin. Mm -mm. So did Thomas try to separate Lily from her psychic sensitivity, but couldn't? Maybe he hurt her, maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to make sense of it. I want... I want... Hello? Oh, there's a doorway. Dickhead. Quick check. Lower levels are flooded. I'm not much of a diver. Yes, you are. Watch. Whoosh. Full dive. We have a juice point over there. But I can't actually do anything. Wow, we're really pushing this. Oh, I need a full charge to get through that anyway. Can't go that way, can't go that way. Hmm. I'll be able to go a little... There's a doorway up there that looks very ominous. Just a second, check something. What, what am I doing? That looks like a way out. It's half underwater. I can see a crane. Which looks important. Let's go take a quick look at that. No, apparently the crane's not important. Nothing. Zip. This section feels important, but feels ultimately quite empty. Oh, fantabby dozy. <laughs> Off. Hmm. Maybe I could pump out the water from here. I didn't even know we were trying to pump out the water, but there you go. Let's have a read. All right, speed read. When we first stumbled onto the site, we thought it was just an old German bunker, a couple of corridors, maybe something in doubt of supplies. Two weeks after, two weeks of excavation later, we found a funny old mist. Hang on, that a funny old mustachio must have had big plans for this place. Mario. A whole system of underground tunnels, reinforced concrete walls, the whole shebang. Guess he wanted to save himself a little forest retreat in case the whole master race thing didn't work out. We're in a Nazi bunker. The commies did what they do best, stole it for themselves. They wanted to repurpose it for, to a full nuclear shelter. Wow. They even got a power grid going. That's as far as they got before the dream of Neva went to shit. Luckily for me, the entire thing was very hush-hush. Hush-hush, why is that so hard to say? And I made sure it stayed that way. As far as I know, most people who knew about it died in a massacre. Wouldn't exactly call it silver lining, but if things go south, we'd have a place to lay low. Great. Okay, let's get a lay of the land. Okay, so we've got one with one A, four, four A. These are the two outer circles, and then two, two A, and then three, which leads to the corridors. Oh boy. So we need to go to 1A and 4A. Oh god. Oh god. This puzzle heavy right now. Right, so. I need a key. Ugh. Out of juice. Because, of course, it is. 
Okay, let's grab this. Control scheme. Water level indicator measures water level in the given chamber, obviously. The water flow direction switches direction of the water flow. Initiate water pump. Okay. So we can see that west chamber water pressure is full, but water tank 2 is empty, so I'm assuming we need to get, like for example, we would need to get the water from central pressure chamber. Do we need to fill the water tanks? I don't actually know the goal. What, what, what place are we trying to clear? Oh, to juice. We already... Oh. What? What? How does that make sense? Okay, a shortcut. I can deal with a shortcut. Okay, so the generator's out of juice, or at least there's no power. That's going to be this. But I need to get a charge. And in order to get a charge, I need to pump the room. But I can't pump the room without a power charge. And to get a power charge, I need to pump the room. This is annoying. This is going to be one of those, isn't it? You mm -hmm. No, it's not going to be too bad. Just break it down in your head. Break it down. It's not that hard. Let's think. Okay, so it's a full loop. This is chamber one. Can't do anything we want at the moment, but we can dive. So let's just take another look in case we're sleeping on something. We can see down there, there's a charge point. Sadly, down there is not an option. Because this is blocked by moths. And I can't do anything with that because I don't have a charge. So this route is all but useless to me at the moment. Right. Right. Nothing on the ground. No other routes. No pathways I'm missing. Yes, there is. Nice. What's this one? Ew, the dangling sack in the spirit world right there. Oh, sorry. Right there. That's kind of gross. Ha ha! That wasn't the only charge. Good. Good, 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 good. I don't like the music very much. We've got a charge. Let's head back. Should we push on a little further first, in case it opens up a shortcut for us? Oh, we're going to dive again. It's okay. Fine with it. Wow, this is so dark. I can't see anything. Oh, I hate adjusting the brightness mid-game. It throws me off, but I'll have a look if I, if I need to. Okay, we're in the control room. More to the point, we might be able to get to the control panel. Hey-yo! Bam! I give you juice. That's sick. We just don't need anything else, or are we all good? I might pop back and get some more juice and go through the moths as well. Let's do that while we're down here. Two moths, one stone, and all that. Very good. We rarely get chased by more when we're in a split. I think that would be too confusing. So we're okay for now. So don't be scared. We're going to be fine. Leaving. Can we kill the moths off? Oh, you assholes! No, we actually can't. What a bitch. I couldn't see anything that was there, so... Let's go um, try and figure out this water puzzle. Oh shit, I'm going to have to go the long way, aren't I? For fuck's sake. Why are you like this? 
are these just views? Are these just like giving me a view? I don't care about a view. I'm kind of shook at that you've left such a complicated, chunky puzzle for so late in the game. Do you not understand the game of fatigue? <laughs> we don't want to be finding horseshoes, wax, and lighters at this point. You're fucking with my pacing. <laughs> Never made a game in my life, by the way. No, I'm not turning that on. That seems dangerous. I will if the moor shows up. Right. Shit. Looks like both retention tanks are closed off. Maybe I could get down there and open them manually. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Are you having a laugh? You made me break my mic. Are you fucking serious? Now I need to walk down to tank 1 and tank 2 and get them open manually, right? Those are our reserve tanks. We need those. So I'm not going to be able to move any water? No, of course I'm not. I'm not going to move any water at all, am I? I can empty the central chamber. Okay. I can probably get to the first tank now. So we've got water tank one. One would assume we're going. Oh, for f fudge's sake. Not for me. Not for me. Can I, like, go sneak mode? I was wondering if I could turn that on, but I get the feeling I'm just going to be an inconvenience for myself, so I'm going the opposite way. <laughs> I can't turn that on without, like, shocking myself. Why am I creeping? He's not even here. And as I say, I'm not entirely sure that he chases me when it's split, does he? I've never known that, unless I'm forgetting. Because it'd be weird to see, like, an invisible him. And, uh, you know, whatever. So I should be able to get to... I've just gone the direction of the diagram. So is this open? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. So I'm assuming he's down here. Right. <laughs> A lot of assumptions going on. A lot of them. I don't have enough charge to get through those. That's not fair. I can try. I have no charge. I'm completely flat out of charge. So draining that what has gained me pretty much fuck all. Like I've gained nothing by doing this. I can't go too close because Marion will get twitchy. I need a charge which means I've got to go back. Oh boy, that is so f***ing annoying. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh well, let's let's go in the direction of the moor, I suppose. Let's see what we can find. This is where he was, was it, huh? Well, he's not going to be here, so... Try and find... At least I might be able to sneak away with a charge. I think it was this way, if I remember rightly. I don't. I don't remember rightly at all. I flooded the area where that charge is. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, my. Think, Craig. Do we need to try and get into this one first? Let's go. I wonder if pump chamber 2 will do me. 
Let's check the east pressure chamber first. Alright, so that's east. Let's see if that one yields any better results. And we'll remember that. That's going to be a booby trap. Like for, for the big guy, for the, you know, the more dude. Let's check down here. I'm so shooketh that they've put this type of thing at the end. I'm hoping it's more simple that it, it looks on the surface, that it's not as complicated as it seems. Um, oh, what a rickety path. Nothing, nothing. I'm, yeah, I'm shooketh that they've put this type of puzzle so late in the game. You know, like having the story unravel so fast and all the evidence and everything and then it's just ground to a halt with a water puzzle. That's kind of disheartening in a way. Right. The valve is missing. Use the bolt Let's cutters. Valves? valves? Really? This is like a midway type puzzle. Bolt cutters are my friend. This will never not be the case. Come on, chin up. Hey, a valve. That didn't feel... Forgive me, but that didn't feel wholly worth it. Did it? Like, it's just there. <laughs> there. Now it's ready to gulp down some water. Okay, so we need an, we need um, an empty central chamber. Sorry, an empty the empty reserve chambers so that hey, we can. That's my way out. Okay. Once I dry it up a bit. Got it. So on our way out, we're going to pass through the central, and we need central to be completely unflooded. But we can't get the left and the right unflooded at the same time in order to deflood central because there's too much water. What's that? So many dolls to play with. Such pretty things to wear. Lillian, Francis, Nurse Ursula. Nurse Ursula? Who was that? She was insatiable. And him. The only one to get away. Last. They never last. You assume. Okay. So he obviously thinks we're the key to some sort of long lasting relationship with the physical world. Sorry, with the spiritual world. Maybe that's why he seems so fragile. The butterflies, the moths. He seems weak. Not in the week of, like, he's not going to kick my ass. He's 100% going to kick my ass. Oh, I'm still creeping. Right, so now, technically, we can pump water into the reserve tank. So let's do that. Okay. That's east, full, and we're putting the water right where it needs to be. Why did that fill up like that? I don't know. I don't know. Shit. Um, let's empty. Can water tank two only take half a tank? That's a bit shit, isn't it? So far, so good. Now I can get to the other tank. Winning. Let's see what sort of time we're on. We're on one ten. Let's try this tank. Let's try and get through here. We owe it that much to the moor and to Marianne. And a slight thanks for this not being a stealth section. And we've got a charge, so we can get through the moths. Running down the stairs with the sprint button pressed is a very strange looking 
I don't know why. From the back, she just looks like she just jiggles around. All right, moths. Well, I'm, but Marianne, come on now, get it together. They're nowhere near you. What, you've got the shield up. What is wrong with this game? <laughs> like, I swear to God. Okay, so that was simple. That was simple. They didn't. Second tank ready for duty. What a pointless little jump. Let's do this. Okay, so both the reserve tanks are now empty. Which is great. The moths are right here. Anything else here? No. Let's push on through. I can run? Wait, I can run? When I've got my shield up? I never knew that. Cool. I'm so glad you're here. All the not enough. Never enough. Never fall. Never fall. And her. Oh, Old war no rag. rag. Who? Who was no? Better cloth, because you want this cloth. He's all up in my cloth. He wants my cloth. I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing that. We've worked too hard and come too far. So I'm taking it that my aim is to empty the central chamber. Right? But I need to get out through the east, because that's where she said that's my way out. I just need to... You know... Does this only take half a tank? It absolutely fucking does. So central chamber is now. Let's move this to central. And then we'll move that to west. Because we found nothing in west. One sec. Yes. Central chamber is open. Get your ass down there, Marianne. Talk to yourself if you can, Marianne. Don't be afraid. Let's try it. We know where it is. So, because we already saw it. So we'll head back down. There's no stealth animation for stairs, so we just walk and then creep again. Just let me wear you. We'll walk this world together. You don't make a good case. Wait, what happened? Oh, got it. He's underneath us. It's fine. I think you stand under me if you don't understand me. So he's not down there now? He's giving away some, some actual, you know, some story now. Oh, if you're just going to walk normal, just run then. Okay, we're on the creep again. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Hi, Valve. I remember you from earlier. Thank you for everything you did. And we are frozen. No more. No more. Brilliant. He's no back. Shame. Plenty of shame. Alright. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Big homie standing right over there. Nine. 
Is he gonna move or? Oh, he's just ran at me. You suck. I don't know what to do here. Okay, so what? What? Uh, uh, no. Hmm. That's weird. Which half of me can he see? Can he see both? Like, could I, if I spirit walk? No, he'll see that one. That's the physical one. He, that's the one he can see. I'm talking about him. I'll give him a quick drink. As I say, it's currently 7am here in the UK. Indeed. No more shame. Never again. Let them look. Let them see. Let them know. Let them feel. Our pain. Okay, I see where you're coming from. Issues, issues. So what do I do? I can't even leave the Oh, he's walking. It all ends in me. <coughs> I couldn't get to the mute button fast enough. I don't hear me him many what was that? Press R2 what? Okay, what do I do? Do I have to try and spirit blast him? Can I do that? Is that a thing? This loading can eat a dick, by the way. If this is PS5, it's got no excuse for this. No more. No more oh my god. No more shame. No more shame. Never again. Bars. Let them look. Let them see. Let them know. Let them feel. Now you could have ended that. That bar could have ended. Let them see. It all ends in me. That's what he could have done. Bars. That's what we deal with here. Bars. Let's see whether we've got a spirit blast him. Come on, big man. Let me. It all ends in me. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. He purposefully threw moths at us so we didn't have a spirit bomb in this one. Back to the moth. The last part of the stream is ending. Constantly looking at this fucking loading stream. Bar, mic check. Firing a booth. <laughs> Actually, I was quoting Funk Flex. I don't know why I'm thinking about Charlie. But whatever. <laughs> Wheezy cough. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. No more shame. Never again. Let them look. Let them see. It all ends in me. No? You could have done bars, man. That was an easy setup. It was a peace setup. It was great. Okay, I'm the other side now. Huge. Press a record. Oh, oh, that's a that's a brand new mechanic. I know what it wants me to do. I know what it wants me to do. It wants me to let him grab Spirit Miriam, and then right at that moment, as he's picked us up, we warp out of it to blow his mind. Let's try that. Let's look at this loading screen one more time. This Silence of the Lambs style thing. That's what the moths make me think of. Oh, man. I need to, um... I'm going to leave that there for one second and go look at something there.
Okay, sorry. Just had to check something by my door. Let's try that then. Let's bait him. No more shame. Never again. Let them look. Let them see. Let them know. Let them feel our pain. Okay, let's go straight into spirit walk. Let's go get him, get his attention. We need to bait him into this. Oh, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck? I'm out of time. I can't go any longer. I need to get stopped. And this guy is being an absolute douche. Like, what do I do? Like, what, what am I supposed to do? Like, even if I do the out-of-body poof and go back to myself, he still grabs me. It doesn't delay him. It doesn't stop him. What do I do? What do I do? I've got a couple more attempts in me, and I hate to leave you on a boss fight. Mic check, because I, I hate this mic so much. It's really not secured where it is. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, just based on this constant build-up, I'm going to have to call this my last attempt. So hopefully we learn something in this one. Let them see. Let them know. Let them feel our pain. Okay, we're going to try a spirit walk. Let's book it for the door. Let me get back here. We made an... Uh, Yeah, okay. We made some progress, but we're going to have to book it for that corridor, but it seems like a dead end. Um, anyway, on a really, really sour, poorly charged note, I'm not happy with this puzzle. It's very strange. They've never asked us to bait him with our... Um, bait him with our spirit self before. They've never done that. That is so strange. <clears throat> God. There's got to be more down that corridor, because she went into sprint mode. Maybe it wasn't a dead end. Maybe it was a dead end. Okay, new plan. One more. One more. <laughs> I can't not try it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I keep forgetting that we have to listen to this shit. Yes, 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 yes. Let's bait him down there and then sprint for the electrical panel with real Miriam. <coughs> I have got such a frog in my throat. Ready? Go. Let me get back here. Hey, excuse me. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. That sucked. Thomas. You are here. I can feel it. I think this may well be the end. Do I push? Do I leave it? I'm going to have to leave it. I don't have time, I'm afraid. So... Thank you very much to anybody who stopped by and gave us a look while we were live. If you like this this game, this this series, give me a like in the comments. I'm on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm on Twitch. Um, but leave me a thumbs up. It does mean a lot to me and it lets me know I'm going in the right direction. But until then, you take care and I will see you next time.